the story here. All right, let me flip this around. We are live right now in Cairo, Illinois, right outside of St. Mary's Hospital, what used to be St. Mary's Hospital in Cairo, Illinois. She is, of course, abandoned. But before we get going, before we start our investigation, by the way, uh, how's the audio? I hope it's not crackling. By, by the way, when we started doing this the other day, we did the intro, the audio sounded fine. Because uh -huh. I reviewed that footage. It didn't start getting interference until inside the hospital. How is the audio, Facebook? Let me see if I'm looking at the camera lens. How is the audio? Do you guys hear me? <laughs> Let me flip the uh, camera around. There's Mama Jo. Oh, I gotta show this really quick. We didn't take a, f I took a photo. That is our ambulance sitting in the ambulance emergency room bay of the Southern Medical Center in Cary, Illinois. That has not had an ambulance in it in almost 40 years. So when we go live tonight, um, I don't see comments yet, by the way. How's the uh, audio? Good, 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 great right now. Thank you guys. So when we go live later, we're gonna throw those lights on. Okay, Mama Joe, you wanna tell Facebook why you have a black trash bag in your hands and gloves? The other day when we were here, we discovered on our journey, someone, I don't know who, and I'm sorry and sad to say, had burned to death an animal inside the hospital. What kind of animal? It looks like it was a pit bull. About a nine, uh, nine, maybe nine, ten month old, uh, nine an adolescent uh, pit bull has been burned to death. And we have confirmed this with the local police department and fire department here yes. in Cairo. And unfortunately, if you're watching this and you did this atrocity, they know who you are. And it's yes, only a matter of time until they, that you are caught. And that's very so what we are going to do, I'm going to hand you the camera. I'll turn the light on for you so you have light. And I'll grab the, the sack. I got a flashlight, thank you. <clears throat> we believe, with the American Ghost Project, we believe that all life is precious. <laughs> Mom's dropping her flashlight. Uh, we believe that all. Sorry, Facebook. We believe that all life is, is precious. And we believe that uh, it's sacred. Yeah. Um, it's God's creation. All life has energy and all lives have spirit. And I understand that may fly in the face of some beliefs out there. But you can't tell me that your, your furry little one at home doesn't have spirit. You can't tell me that that deer out in the woods that dies doesn't have energy that is released into the wild. So what we are going to do is what is right, which is recover that body, put it in this sack, and we're going to bury it right out there in front of the hospital. Watch your pudding, Mom. I will. Gotcha. It is absolutely frigid right here. Yeah, it's cold right here. Right here. It's very cold. Someone's been in here. That's what you have been in here. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. Anybody in here? We're trying to do what's right and recover this dog carcass. Now, it's my view. I have to show the carcass because I'm sure they don't want to see this. But it is pretty awful. I'm not going to show that. I'm just up. Just give me you. some light if you don't mind. Hold on. You're good. You're good. Just leave that. Use that light. 
They just get a little closer without showing the carpet. Okay. Okay, he has the poor dog bagged up. And off we go to bury it. Because that's what we do. He's got a quicker step than me, so bear with me, Facebook. Still with me? Yeah. Just watch your footing. <laughs> There's a lot of broken glass and rubble. Hi, Laura. It's so much colder inside the hospital than it is out here. I'm glad I'm layered up. Some of the neighbors said that there was a... You guys watch uh, Supernatural and they cut the uh, perfect rectangle whenever they're digging up a body. Bull crap. <laughs> so did you cut the perfect rectangle? As he told you earlier, the police suspicion pretty much know who did this. There was a mama dog. Some of the local residents walked up to us earlier and said she had had litter of puppies. So this is the right thing to do. hope we don't come across things like this on our future projects. No I telling. This puts this animal spirit to rest. The last thing I need to do is come across a Doberman ghost. <laughs> I don't think it was a Doberman though. <laughs> uh, well, pit bull. <laughs> pit bull. Yeah, we don't want a mad pit bull either. So. You know, on the side, I do landscaping. <laughs> uh, we have four watching. No, wait a minute. What? I think we had four. Probably more than four. <laughs> Let me put my glasses on. You got more than four people watching me dig a hole? Uh, there's 44. <laughs> <laughs> 44 people watching me dig a hole. Yeah. All right. He's doing a really good job, you guys. That was my ankle. If you hear noise in the background, that's our generator that we have to use. Just so you know, the police and the fire department does make regular rounds of this property. And they do go inside. So if you think about doing this again, you might want to think twice.
smoke break. Just kidding, I don't smoke. What's up, man? We just buried a dog that was uh, burned in the hospital. A dog? Yes. I may wish I had brought my heavier coat tonight. What? If the temperature is as cold as it is inside. <laughs> Scott's getting a workout. As promised. <coughs> I just don't understand. It's beyond. I'm gonna say a little prayer, Mom. Okay. It was Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <sighs> Father, watch over this this uh, little dog's spirit. Help it release back into the world, into a positive place. And I pray for the individuals that committed this crime, that their souls be healed, and that your loving arms wash over them and show them what is the right thing to do. And this is surely not it. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to be here in this moment and placing this soul at peace. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. All right. So we will be going live promptly at 8 p.m. We are going to be having a special guest, one of the captains of the Cairo, Illinois Fire Department will be joining us. It'd be really cool if he brought his uh, engine up here. Then we'd have an ambulance and a uh, fire truck at the hospital. But um, <clears throat> watch for the sirens and the lights. Listen for the sirens. Watch for the lights. We'll be going live at 8 p.m. And always remember, what you fear, we will find. This is Scott Poole signing off. Until then.